Amazon has just released, they've they licensed uh, a game engine that's the one that used to build Crisis. Uh, and they have now made it available free to anybody who wants to write a video game on a new platform, Lumberyard. It's a free three-day 3D game engine. And GameLift which is a service for building backends for multiplayer games. And, of course, Amazon owns Twitch, so you automatically get Twitch built in. It is really interesting. I, I don't know how many people have the skills to write their own, you know, video games, but the fact that you can get CryEngine without licensing it for commercial use, use Amazon as a backend, uh, is unbelievable. How many new whippersnappers to the game who couldn't afford to license or pay for the right. other engines are finally going to get their foot in and get a stronghold right. because of this thing called Twitch? And, oh, yeah, Uncle Leo, let me tell you, a couple people make a few dollars off of Twitch, Twitch too. is great, but I'm they make, they make money playing they're games. Not, they're not getting, if those they're people not getting millions of dollars. Yeah, no, 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 no I understand. Twitch, Uncle Leo. No, Twitch like, is you good. Know. You know how you make money on Twitch, though? You find benefactors in chat who just give you money because they're lonely, rich people. That's the way to make money on Twitch. <laughs> I, I know you're not lonely, Uncle Leo, but I was just, if I could get a loan, if you sent me the check and it was blank, just know that I wouldn't take advantage of it. I know you wouldn't, and that's why that check is in the mail, Owen J.J. Stone. I appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> Funny thing, though, about this lumberyard, they uh, also released new terms of service. And just so you know, uh, and this is always the case in terms of service, you can't run a nuclear plant with right. the software, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But it says, your use of lumberyard materials must comply with Amazon Web Services' acceptable use policy. The lumberyard materials are not intended for use with life-critical or safety-critical systems, use in a operation of medical equipment, transportation, autonomous vehicles, air traffic control, that kind of thing. However, this restriction will not apply in the event of the occurrence certified by the United States Centers for Disease Control or successor body of a widespread viral infection transmitted via bites or contacts with bodily fluid that causes human corpses to reanimate and seek to consume living human flesh, blood, brain, or nerve tissue and is likely to result in the fall of organized civilization. So there's the good news. Can we give a slow clap to Amazon for a few things? <laughs> One, for realizing the market. Two, for helping out um, young upstarts. Three... For the fact that not only is it free, but they're giving great power to it and elevating their brand to people that will later on use and pay for their service if they start making an income off of it. Like so many times big companies miss the boat and Amazon has an aircraft carrier right now and they're like, look, everybody come aboard unless you're a zombie and we about to take off in outer space. And <laughs> I, just, amazing. I just think that finally there's a tool against the zombie apocalypse that we can all count on. And I'll get behind that. I'll get behind that. <laughs> Doesn't your Tesla also have uh, the antibacterial mode? Or it does. Whatever? It has bioweapon defense mode. There you go. There we go. I think I had to pay extra for that, and I don't know why I did, <laughs> but I did. <laughs> Elon is so brilliant. I am. I am just like, and and everybody who buys a Tesla essentially is just a. I mean, talk about suckers on YouTube. I am just a sucker for anything Elon wants to put in there. I will buy. You want doors that go like this? I'll buy it. You. I mean, it's an insane mode. Ludicrous mode, whatever. Bioweapon defense mode. It has a filter that will literally filter out bioweapon gases. And you, there's a button on the console that you press. <laughs> That's don't press it too often. Like you don't want to use it up. Us. No. On unimportant things like po general pollution and smog, you want to use it up when you need it. So I should check and make sure I bought that. The one reason I don't like Elon is because he's that one guy right now on Earth that is just like a better guy than he most is, guys. He's Tony Stark. Like, like, like when you said, eh, now you Tony Stark. He's just a dude that literally says, I want to do that. And everybody says, you can't do that. And then he does it, whether he almost <laughs> fails to do it. Or He's like, I want to do that. And then he does it. I think to myself, I want to go to the gym. And I don't go to the gym. But this dude <laughs> wants to stop. I, I can't even like, get to the gym. This guy's going to like, Mars. He's, 